Hello, welcome back. The title of this lesson is called, What is a Fraction? Also called Parts of a Whole. So we could call it Parts of a Whole, we could call it What is a Fraction? I'm really excited to teach this lesson because a lot of students have problems with fractions and it actually, fractions is one of the most important things you will ever, ever learn in math and we can take and break it apart and make it understandable so that everyone watching this will understand exactly how to work with a fraction, exactly what a fraction is, and so there's never any confusion about anything. Because the little secret is fractions are actually really, really easy to understand. We just have to talk about it a little bit. So, what is a fraction anyway? Why do we care? And by the way, you'll be using fractions from now all the way until the end of your education. Many, many, many years from now, you will still be using fractions, so it's that important. So what is a fraction? All right, basically, let's go back and reverse a little bit for a second. We all know how to count numbers. Let's say we have three oranges. There's orange number one, orange number two, orange number three. We know how to count objects. One, two, three, four, five, six, you know, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, for instance. Fractions let us talk about when we have less than one of an object. So let's say we have four oranges. We take one away, we have three oranges. We take another one away, we have two oranges. We take another one away, we have one orange. Or let's just talk about pins. We have one pin left. But what happens if I don't even have a whole pin or a whole orange? What if I only have half of an orange? I mean, you all have dealt with fractions your whole life. What if you cut a sandwich in half? Then you don't have an entire sandwich. You have less than a sandwich. You have a half of a sandwich or a half of a pizza. Or if I cut this marker in half, you would have half of a marker. So what we need to do is understand what fractions are and also how to write them down so that we understand exactly what they are. But in the big picture, a fraction lets us talk about when we have less than one entire object. What if I cut this marker into two pieces? I have a half of a marker, right? What if I cut it into three pieces? I'll have some other fraction. What if I cut it into seven pieces and I only have one little piece of the marker? What if I only have this little piece, this little cap? then that's less than one marker, but how much less? How do we talk about something when it's less than one? So that's what we wanna do. Now we have a bunch of problems, but before we get into the problems, we wanna talk about exactly what this fraction stuff is. So this is one, has a one in the middle. It means there's one whole object. If you wanna think about the circle as being a pizza, great, that I actually like talking about pizza. So we can think of it as being a pizza, or we can think about it as being you know, a pie, or we can think about it as being a cupcake or whatever you want it to be, but it's, it's a circular thing, right? But fractions can be used to cut any shape you want, but in this lesson, we're gonna use mostly circles and rectangles because they're easy, but you can use any shape you want and slice it up and talk about the fractions that are inside. So in this case, we have one whole pizza. What happens if we cut this pizza in half? Then we all know cutting it in half means you divide it into two pieces. So let's take a look at that. The, this is exactly the same size as the pizza we started with, but now we actually have broken it into two pieces. All right, how many pieces of the pizza do we have? We have two pieces, piece number one, piece number two. If we put them together, it makes an entire pizza. So if we put one half and add to it another half, then we have the entire pizza. But if we cut it in half and throw this half away, let's say, so this is all we have left, we only have half of the pizza, right? So what does this mean here? The one slash the one and then the line and then the two. What's going on here is, first of all, you have to, when you cut the pizza in half, how many pieces do you have? You only have two pieces of that pizza, right? So let's put a two there. Uh, total, when you cut it in half, you cut it into two pieces, so we have a two there. But if I give this piece to my friend and it's gone now, all I have is one piece out of two. So we put a line here and we put a one on there and we say that this fraction here, this much of the pizza is one half. So when you cut a pizza in half or when you cut a sandwich in half or when you cut a marker in half, you're cutting it into two pieces. The whole object is now two pieces, but I gave one piece away. This is all I have, so I only have one out of two pieces. So anytime you see a fraction, I want you to think in your mind, the top number and the bottom number, you read it like this. I have one out of two pieces. All I did was cut the original pizza into two pieces, but I don't have both pieces. Let's say I gave it to someone else. Let's say I ate one of those pieces. I only have one piece left, so it's called one out of two pieces. This is called one half. The two means it's a half, but I only have one of those halves. 
So it's called one half. That's what we say when we call it one half. All right, obviously this is one half and this guy is another half, one half, one out of two pieces. If I were to put them together, the one half and the plus another one half would make the entire pizza whole again. We're gonna be talking about that a whole lot more later, but right now we're just gonna be labeling what the fractions are. Now let's say you're having a party and you, uh, you, you don't have two people that you're trying to share the pizza with, but you have three people. That means you need to cut the pizza into three pieces instead of two pieces. So how do you do that? Well, what you would do is you would say, here is a pizza that I've cut to three pieces. Notice that this pizza is the same size as the original pizza, but I cut it here to the center like this, and then I cut it to the edge here and cut it to the edge here. So this amount of the pizza is the same exact amount as what's on the other part here, and that's exactly the same amount as what is over here. So this is one out of three pieces. This is another one out of three pieces. This is another one out of three pieces. But notice that we did not cut the pizza into two pieces, we cut it into three pieces. But if you talk about what one of these pieces are, it's only one out of three pieces. So you label this piece one out of three pieces. Again, if I take one out of three pieces and I add to it another one out of three pieces and I add to it another one out of three pieces, then you get your whole pizza back. Just know that we are gonna be able to add these things together. We're gonna to do that a long time you know, down the road, but I just want to mostly label everything for you now. Just keep in your mind that you are gonna be able to add these guys a little bit later. So here we have one whole pizza. This portion of a pizza is one out of two pieces. This portion of a pizza is one out of three pieces. So what do you think would happen if I have four people over for pizza instead of two or three? Well, I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna have to cut that pizza into four pieces. And so it's gonna look something like this. I'm going to cut this pizza. Notice that if I put them all together, it's exactly the same size as, the as this you know, pizza right above. It's exactly the same size, but now I just cut it diagonal two times, or I guess I can put it like this maybe. And then you can see now how many pieces have I cut the pizza into. One, two, three, four pieces. So the pizza is only cut into now four pieces, but if I give all of these pieces away, and I'm only talking about this one, or let's do it like this. I give the other pieces away and I'm only gonna talk about this piece. I only have one out of four pieces, that's this one. So this is one out of four pieces. This is another one out of four pieces. This is another one out of four pieces. This is another one out of four pieces. All right, so this is the fraction one fourth. This is the fraction one third. This is the fraction one half, right? So you might talk about or listen to, you know, some teachers talk about fractions are parts of a whole. That's exactly what they are. When I have one third of a pizza, I have one part out of the whole, which is three pieces. If I have half of a pizza, I have one part out of the whole, which is two pieces of the pizza. If I have one fourth of the pizza, I have one part out of the whole, which is actually four pieces. So part out of whole, part out of whole, is the same thing as what I'm saying when I tell you it's one out of three pieces, one out of two pieces, and so on. So we can have fun with the next two. We're just gonna crank through them a little bit, a little bit faster. What if we have more people over and we actually cut the pizza into five pieces? What do you think is going to happen? Let me kind of give myself a little room down here. So here is a pizza that's cut exactly into five pieces, okay? Of course, I can push them all together and I can see that this makes an entire pizza, but also I can pull them apart a little bit to make it a little bit easier. What if I only actually have one of those pieces? Well, I have cut the pizza into one, two, three, four, five pieces. There's a total of five pieces, but let's just say I only have one of those because I give my friends the other pieces, then I have one out of five pieces, or one fifth. And then lastly, where this is the last one we'll do here, what if I cut the pizza, you might guess, into six pieces? Six pieces. So let's push them together and let's make sure the pizza is the same size. Everything looks to be about the same. So let me kind of separate it so we can see a little bit better here. Now let's say I take only one out of those six pieces, one out of six pieces, that's this amount. So the fraction one half, you can see, is bigger than the fraction one third, which is bigger than the fraction one fourth, which is bigger than the fraction one fifth, which is bigger than the fraction one sixth. So the bottom number of the fraction is what, how many pieces you cut the pizza into, 
And the top number is telling me how many pieces I have. One slice out of six, one slice out of five, one slice out of four, one slice out of three, one slice out of two, and then here's the whole pizza, of course, all by itself. So now what we need to do is we need to switch gears to working some problems. I'm going to, we're going to draw, we're gonna have a drawing on the board that's going to be a fraction, and we're gonna write down what the fraction is. So let's go ahead and work on that right now. All right, welcome back. Here is our shape now for our first problem. It is a, a kind of a rectangular or square object like this, and it's cut into four pieces. So notice with fractions, it doesn't have to be circles that you're cutting up. You can cut squares up, you can cut anything up into, to make a fraction. So here, the object that we have is a large square type object here, and we cut it into how many pieces? Four pieces. But the shaded area is how many pieces I have for myself. So I wanna write down what is that fraction. So how many pieces do I have all together when I cut it? One, two, three, four. So what that means is that there are four pieces total. How many pieces do I have? I only have one out of those four pieces. So that is one fourth. So this shaded region is one fourth. Notice that this one fourth, right, it represents one out of four pieces of the whole object. It represents the same fraction as this, which is one out of four pieces of this circle object. So no matter if the object is big or small, the fraction is telling you how many, how much of it do you have? We're counting in all of these cases less than one. Notice that this is less than a whole pizza, this is less than a whole pizza, all of these are less than a whole pizza, and this is less than a whole square thing, a whole square object like this, one out of four pieces. All right, we can also talk about it, we're not gonna do every one like this, but we can put this one in terms of, of, of this, these little objects here. One whole square, there's one fourth, there's another fourth, one fourth, one out of four pieces. Here's another one out of four pieces. Here's another one out of four pieces. If we push them all together, then what we get is the whole object. But if I pull this one aside and say, I only have this much, then I only have one out of four pieces. One out of four pieces. So the top number is how many pieces I have, and the bottom number is how many pieces I've cut the object into. So one out of four pieces. All right, so let's crank on through and start to solve some more problems. What about something like this? So the first thing you have to say is what fraction is the shaded region? First thing you have to do is say, how many pieces have I cut this thing into? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've only cut it into six pieces. So six goes on the bottom because that's how many pieces I have uh, cut the object into. Now, how many do I have for myself? One, two, I only have two pieces. So this fraction is two out of six. So this is different because there's a two on the top. In all the other cases, I was talking about only one piece. Only one piece, only one piece, only one piece, only one piece, only one piece. Here, I actually have two pieces out of six, two out of six. So the fraction is two sixths. The bottom number is how many I've cut it into. The top number is how many I have. Two out of six pieces. Let's take a look at this one. How many pieces have I cut this into altogether? One, two, three, four, five. So it's out of five pieces like this. How many do I have? One, two. So I only have two out of five pieces. The way I want you to write this or, or kind of read it when you write it down is two out of five pieces. This is called two fifths. So the top number, how many pieces I have? The bottom number, how many pieces I've cut the thing into? All right, our next problem is up here on the board. We want to write down what fraction of this object do we have? How many pieces did we cut it into? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 pieces. So this object we cut into 10 pieces. So that number goes on the bottom, 10 pieces. How many pieces do I have? I throw these away. I only have one, two, three, four out of 10 pieces. So this is four out of 10 pieces also called four tenths. And the way to think about this is one of these rectangles would be one out of 10 pieces, this would be two out of 10, this would be three out of 10, and this one would be four out of 10. So what I have is four out of 10 pieces total, also called four tenths. All right, for our next object here, what fraction do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. We cut this into eight pieces, so let's put eight pieces here. And uh, how many do we actually have? One, two, three, four, five. So the fraction here is five out of eight, also called five eighths. 
So this is 1 8th, 2 8 3 8 4 8 5 8 So all of this is 5 out of 8 pieces, 5 out of 8, also called 5 8 All right, making progress. What about this guy? We have how many pieces have we cut it into? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pieces. So the 5 goes on the bottom, that's how many we have cut this object into, 5 pieces. How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. Four. So we have four pieces. Four out of five pieces. So it's four out of five pieces. We also call it four fifths. Way to count by fifths here. This is one out of five, two out of five, three out of five, four out of five. Or we could say one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths. Just like this one is one eighth, one out of eight, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths. All right. Let's take a look at our next one. Here, how many pieces have we cut the object into? One, two, three pieces. So the three goes on the bottom, and how many pieces do we have? Only one. So one goes on the top. So here we have only one out of three pieces. We call this one third. So this will be one third, uh, and that's all that we have. So let's go ahead and work our final few problems. All right, let's tackle our last three problems. Here we have a fraction, which is the shaded region. What is that fraction? How many pieces do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten equal pieces. So that means we've cut this into ten equal pieces. How many pieces do we have? One, two, three. So here we have three out of ten pieces. That's called three tenths. So we cut it into slices, ten slices. So this slice would be one out of ten, one tenth. This would be two out of ten, two tenths. This is 3 out of 10, or 3 tenths. So altogether, this fraction is 3 tenths of the whole, part out of whole. All right, what about this one? How many pieces have we cut this guy into? One, two, three, four, five, six pieces total. So we cut this thing into six pieces total. How many pieces do we have, though? One, two, three, four, only four. So it's four out of six pieces. Four out of six pieces, we also call that four sixths. So if you want to think about this one little piece being one out of six, one sixth, two out of six, three out of six, four out of six. So one six, two six, three six, four six, sixth. Altogether, this makes four sixth as the fraction of the whole thing. And our very last problem, how many pieces have we cut this into? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. So we have eight pieces total. We put that number on the bottom. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We only have seven out of eight pieces. So we put seven out of eight. We also call it seven eighths. So the fraction is seven eighths. So if you wanted to count by eighths, this would be one eighth. This would be two eighths. This would be three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, and seven eighths. Altogether, the shaded region is seven eighths. That's the fraction of the whole object. So in this lesson, we've introduced what a fraction is. It's just talking about how to slice an object up so that we can talk about how much of an object we have when we have less than one object. If I take this paper and slice it into five pieces, but I only have three of the pieces, I don't have a whole piece of paper. I have some fraction of that paper. And so that's what we've been doing in this lesson. I want you to go through, back through, so that you understand how to read fractions and how to write fractions. And follow me on to the next lesson. We'll get a little more practice.